Hello, my name's Callum. Welcome to Enjoy Harmonica. So I'm going to continue now with uh, the beginner's lessons on uh, Enjoy Harmonica. And very soon uh, we're going to be looking at uh, playing the single note. Ouch! Oh! Just imagine if you have a bee sting on your finger. What's all that about? Well, go to YouTube and find out, or just stay tuned, perhaps you're already on YouTube. See you soon. Bye now. Hello and welcome to Enjoy Harmonica. So what I've been doing there is just going up and down the harmonica, breathing in and out, playing the single note, the single hole. Well that's what today's lesson is all about, playing that single note. So now, why is that important? Well because playing the harmonica is not all about this. Thank God. Or just mucking about. It's not about that at all. It's about being accurate in your play. Accurate in playing single notes and single holes on your harmonica. Creating some sort of tune uh, or uh, a melody or uh, some sort of accompaniment or something a bit more technical than just... So, um, so we're progressing in our, in our lessons and as we go it gets harder and harder. So this is actually quite difficult. A lot of... Um, there's been a lot of instructors out there on YouTube uh, covering this in the various ways. There's one instructor who encourages you to do the pucker using that sort of method. I won't mention the name, but I call it the Liam kiss because it looks like you're kissing the harmonica, and uh, we're not kissing the harmonica. It's, it's called a it's called a tin sandwich for a reason. <laughs> you, you know, you put what comes out in it. And there's another harmonica uh, teacher, I won't mention his name again, but uh, he's, he has a book out, uh, Search for the Single Note by Ben Hewlett. So uh, that's, uh, uh, he's written a book all about this subject. So that's very, very good. So um, I feel this is my take on it. I, think, I don't think anybody's discussed it on, uh, on YouTube in this way. In fact, if anybody does uh, discuss it uh, on YouTube this way, Put the name down, be, down, down below and I can have a look at the video too. I can, I, I can learn something. It would be, be interesting to know. So the way I discuss it with people, the, my students, the way I talk about it, is uh, I compare it to a bee sting. Or any sort of sting you get in your finger. So let's say you get stung on your finger. Uh, other fingers are available. <laughs> anyway, say you get stung on your finger. Um, the idea really is if, if you want to suck that bee sting out, is it, uh, you put your lips around it. And you make a seal, don't you? You seal, you make a seal around it, around where this thing is, as small as you can, and and kind of suck out, don't you? Um, so that's what you would do with the harmonica. You'd put the harmonica a fair bit in your mouth. I think we spoke about that in how you hold the harmonica, and you would put a seal around the, the hole, one of the holes of the harmonica here, and you would. Suck, suck on it. You wouldn't suck on it. Actually, you, you draw gently on it, and um, and then you would blow uh, out of it. In fact, take my glasses off because I can see my reflection, which is annoying me. So it must be annoying you. So um, and that's that's really the key, if you pardon the pun, to uh, playing single notes in the harmonica. You're getting that seal around that hole. So I just done. The, I'll play it and, and turn around so you can see what I'm doing, okay? See, my mouth is quite a long way in the harmonica and I've sealed my mouth around that, that, that little hole there, okay? Now, if you don't get it, if you're getting something like this, 
getting something like that just try and make the hole a little bit smaller now I'm still not getting it I just can't do it if you're struggling and you and you feel your hole is quite small and you've, you've done the best you can what I think might be happening is you might be hitting the, the classic or wood in between the holes. You might be going about there or something. Okay. Well, there's a solution to that if that's the case. Just move your, your harmonica to the slightly to the left or slightly to the right. Okay. And then you'll find you'll get it. Now, if you don't get it, well, put the harmonica down, go away, do something else, have a rest from it, have a break from it, and then go back to it again, okay, and try again, okay? You might find, oh, I've got it, great, I've got it, I've done, I've done this thing, whole, I've got it, that's fantastic, now I can go out and I can, I can relax, I'm happy, I can... I can I can I can wind down. I can have a drink. I'm I'm real, I'm happy. I'm, I can play. Of course, I can play single notes. Well, no, you need to practice. So the way this is just water. There's a little tip on the side. It's not part of the lesson. You don't drink and eat food and things when you're playing the harmonica because it gets in between the harmonica and it's not very good at all. And if you do have a drink, make sure it's water. Sometimes you. Have a, some other kind of drink, but try and tilt your harmonica a little bit when you play, because then you know any spit or, or moisture drains out of it. Anyway, that's the side point. It's a free side point for you. Um, so now, where was I? Oh yeah, once you've once you've got it, once you think you've got it, keep keep keep. keep. Oh, I've got it again. Great, lovely. Um, once you think you've got it finally and you can move on to something else uh practice 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 don't worry about going on to playing tunes or anything like that yet we're taking this course one step at a time okay now what i want you to do is practice all the, the holes in fact not all the holes don't do hole number two because hole number two is another, going to be another lesson in itself because Hole number two does have a have a problem sometimes, and sometimes when you're a beginner and you're playing the harmonica and you get to hole number two, ah, hole number two doesn't work. I'll throw that harmonica out and I get another one. Before you know it, you've wasted forty fifty quid. So hole number two is a problem. I'll deal with that in another lesson. Um, by the way, the reason accuracy is important is let me give you let me show you harmonicas when you first start. Perhaps you'll get a harmonica, something like a special 20. Now that comb is a plastic comb. Now the teeth there, which is a bit in between the gaps, this bit here, is um, is square. Do you notice that? It's very square. Now the more expensive harmonicas, this one's a, um, a Marine Man Deluxe. It's not quite so square, it's a bit rounded, it's rounded off a little bit. And certainly in customised harmonicas, they rounded off quite a bit. If I put these up together, the special 20s on top, the deluxes on bottom, and um, you can see the difference there. So that means that the, the one on the bottom there, this one, you have to be more, you have to be much more accurate with your play. So that's why getting getting the single play right in the first place is very very important. So that was a little bend at the, the end there. Um, so that's it really, that's the lesson I'll finish for you. So now practice, 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 as I say. Now um, next lesson we're going to have is a lesson all about the um, scale, the uh, the C scale. So that's what we're going to practice next time. Well, it won't be the C scale. It'll be whatever harmonica you happen to have. But if you're a beginner, normally it's, it's a C harmonica. So thank you very much indeed for listening and watching and um, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I 
and share. Please share and like and do all that kind of stuff. All right? Okay. Bye for now.